This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Oh, look at this sucker, Trey the Truth, okay? This is a guy who can only jump zero when zero is by himself with a group of guys, okay? I'll never respect him the same again. Uh, he seems like a fraud to me, but uh, somebody called him out at a game. As they should have. I mean, this is a guy that he can't. He can barely rap, bro. Like I liked, I liked Trey the Truth at one point, and I, I was for helping him. But like, he's not the best rapper. The music's pretty. Dry. It was very hard to film a lot of those videos. Okay, I got to be honest. Okay, plus he wasn't such a stand-up guy in the end of the day. Once I started realizing that, got away from him. You know, because like I was like, geez. But anyways, to take the personal out of this, I really didn't like what he did to Zero because like. Zero seems like a pretty good guy, but this guy at a baseball game started just going Fuck off you, on him. <laughs> Come on, zero for life, baby. Hey, you jump zero, baby. Come on, let's get it. Hey, come on, dog. Zero for life, baby. Mo City, dog, to the day I die, baby. And Mo City, dog, to the day I die, baby. And nah, come on, dog. Fuck you, dog. And now Trey's trying to get him to come down, like he's gonna beat him down. Like eh, that's that's uh, that's being an activist, you know. You beat people down, I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't know what's going on with the zero thing anymore with that case. But anyways, then we got Coolio. So sad he passed back in September. Uh, it was due to a fentanyl thing. They said. I thought they said he didn't do anything, and it was just natural. But I guess it was. Uh, due to fentanyl. Um, what was he on though? Like, they they did they weren't very clear about exactly what he was on, but it revolved around some type of fentanyl. They don't know realize reveal what he took, but the the coroner said it was found in his system along with traces of, oh of methamphetamine and heroin. Man. Investigators determined Coolio's severe asthma and decades-long use of cigarettes also played a factor in his death. The body's inability to fight back. I don't know. They should get more details on that. What's what's in the inhalers? You know, would it come back as some of those things? I don't know. So sad, bro. Um, Waka Flocka performed at J. Cole's Dream Fest. People went crazy. Nicki Minaj is dropping another song with NBA Youngboy tonight. Midnight Youngboy, The Sleaze. Oh, this is her all, new, uh, it's another alter ego of Nicki Minaj. Hmm. <laughs> Kanye is being taken to court because I guess they only serve the kids sushi at his schools. Also, certain people were let go. Certain teaching positions, people were like let go of two reasons. Uh, retailing, retaliation for sounding the alarm on alleged education, health, and safety code violations. All right. We'll see where that goes. Uh, what else we got? Oh, gosh. We got two guys sitting down. Mano's now considered a clown, right? Can we determine that? Because the whole thing with the chain. Look at him sitting down with Jim Jones. Look at the way, just because Jim Jones said the opposite of something, he said Jim Jones, I'm not looking for credit. I'm looking for debit. And Mano was like, debit, debit. That's the opposite of credit. It's not even opposite. It's just like, it's a different form of taking money out of your pockets. I'm not really worried about flowers. I'm not worried about credit. I'm worried about debit. Debit? <laughs> okay. okay. Debit. Hard debit. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.